Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, we're gonna pop in and visit the guys at Liquid Oasis. All right, so those who don't know, Liquid Oasis out of WA is the home of where some of the best PVC sumps, custom skimmers, acrylic reactors, acrylic tanks, full-blown engineering stands and projects, you name it, with high-end aquarium gear, these guys have had their hands on it. So uh, I couldn't help but pop in and visit their retail side of things where they do sell fish and coral and uh, dry goods to the public, but there's also a little bit of their R&D for where they practice some of their new designs and things like that. So uh, enough from me, let's cross over and get a bit of a tour of the facility. Hey guys, Matthew from Liquid Oasis. Really cool to introduce you guys to the store. Come in. Hey guys, welcome. So a little bit about us. We sort of try to do a lot of bulk additives. If you look around the store, we've got lots of salts. Um, Daz is over here coming to say hello for a beer. Same with Cameron. Always good to have the local guys supporting and coming around to catch up. Um, a little bit about our systems. Um, this is a new six foot we've been doing. Um, it's eventually going to be doing our display as well as some of the mother colonies. Though we don't actually normally do mother colonies because every time you cut a frag, you change its growth. So this is more trying to show people you've got to treat it like a garden. So cutting it at certain times to recreate the colonies. And we're going to do a lot of explaining about that in the future. Um, these are running our version three lights that now we get produced. These are going to be launched early next year. Yeah, so these are our new lights. Um, eight channels of control around about 185 watts of power. Um, all Wi-Fi enabled, you can link them up. You don't have to connect them to your router because we do have customers that don't actually have Wi-Fi in the house and it's a bit different. <laughs> but for saying that, we come down to our PVC sumps. So we custom make these. Um, this is running your algae turf scrubber. So instead of getting that bit of algae growing on your glass, we're concentrating it down here. Because we run a liquid-based phosphate absorber that is very efficient, we tend to not be able to grow macro algae where sort of your quicker growing algae that you get in your glass or your turf algae grow a lot quicker. Um, this system we've come down here, Sam, we have a look. This is a light hood we did a few years ago, but we finally got out and can put it on show. Um, it runs an actuator of 12 volts. So these will basically be connected to your, um, what's it, your Google Home or your Amazon one. What's that one called again? Alexa. Um, Alexa. So you can be Alexa maintenance. The light hood lifts up. This will raise around about 90 centimeters and can pick up about 150 kilos. So potentially you could even hang your rock work off if you really wanted to, to do something like that. But um, really, really awesome. These ones are a little bit noisy. Um, you can get fancier ones, but this is all in development. Um, another thing that's a little bit different in this tank is the actual um, overflow. This one, we've just been trying out sort of bigger slits to get a bit more surface overflow, and that's sort of what our store is. You know, we sort of try to test everything in-house before we go to market. This one, oh, excuse me one sec. Just that salt creep there. This sump has an incorporated coral composter or coral calcium reactor, or just a basic calcium reactor. Um, it's not up and running just yet. We're busy setting up the, or getting the pumps in for it. It will eventually be going and that's it. A very neat, easy system. We can custom make these with um, proper laminex or polytech cabinetry within 20 to 15% of most other um, tanks of the same size on the market. So we're very competitively priced in that sense. Um, other things we do, we have a few different salts. We don't carry the biggest range of dry goods as we sort of try to push customers on the products that we use and we can stand behind. Um, other than that, the fish system, these are all protein skimmers we made. So way too big, that's rated to 16 to 22,000 heavily stock system. So complete overkill for this, but it's all proof in the pudding. It's trial and error and seeing what we need to change. So this all flow through tanks. Each one can be isolated. If the one actually blocks, it has fins that drain into the tank next to it so that you can't ever flood the store or anything like that. It was all about redundancies, redundancies, and more redundancies. Um, pricing, we sort of try to use this so that you can easily clean the glass and still remember what you need to do and then nets that can slide back. So the biggest issue we do have with the stack system, um, we sort of take this approach from Hong Kong where you don't have a lot of um, footprints just because rent is expensive. So it was all about going vertical and putting the much water in the smallest amount of area. Um, besides that, this isn't set up and running yet, but this is basically your nitrate reactor. So it is gonna be loaded full of um, basically your bricks 
and we can control once this is fully um, stocked the flow through rates which will adjust our nitrates of our overall system. The chamber over here is your emergency flow back so once the system does turn off if for some reason it's a bit overfilled instead of flooding the store it drains into there and then pumps back out so it's all been designed just to be easy and minimum amount of maintenance. Um, coral systems the same we just use boiling method which is just hand manually dosing as well as dosing on pumps. Um, each system is individual from one side to the rest, so we can divide them into SPS and LPS if we want. Um, but at the moment, we find that target feeding our LPS is keeping up with our low nitrates. Nitrates are run at about 0.7 to 1 in the system. Um, we are slowly increasing them to about 1.5. We find it sort of keeps our color and the best growth. Um, but besides that, we keep our inverts at the top, so this lets us feed, it lets us actually put nutrients into the system where the top tank here which is blacked out is actually our nutrient sink so we control the amount of water going through there that's filled with bio balls as well as your marine pure bricks as well as our filter socks so each system runs around about eight filter socks and this runs nine filter socks yes filter socks are important but you don't need them long term most of our maintenance jobs we don't run any roller mats or any filter socks we run over the oversized skimmers to handle any particulates of the water so what we use these chambers for once we've removed the filter socks is we actually fill them up with marine pure, sporax, whatever you're doing. You're naturally getting that flow through rate and the aeration. Um, this system has around about 250 marine pure balls. I know a lot of people go, oh, they leach aluminium. We get ICP tested that, um, every two weeks to every three weeks. We have a couple of customers that do it for free. So literally whenever anything's wrong, we just get an ICP test. So we sort of know that it's not leaching aluminium or any kind of other things into the system. So without leaching the system, um, what makes us different, WA we have a lot of collectors and a lot of guys that sell direct to the public. That's nothing wrong with that. But how do we survive? How do we be different? So we sort of only try to bring our corals in from the Kai and cans just to be a bit different and it'll give us a bit of a competitive advantage. So our pricing is a bit different to the other local stores, but it's different corals. And we find that's the thing is that these are hammers from cans where the local hammers are a bit fair to value for money. So it's always, that's a very hard kind of selling point, I should say. Um, besides that, the system's designed to be easy maintenance. I used to do all of this machining all by myself. So it was designed for one person to spend an hour each morning and have the store looking great. Um, the gyres work great for these type of long skinny tanks. We have them on the flow mode. With SPS, we do have to be a bit more careful and move the tanks around. But that, it was all about keeping pretty much cost down each tank is individually controlled on lighting and each one on their own lighting period um, as intensity so we can sort of see what coral does better under what types of lights. But that's more for um, personal and store use. Um, so our big thing is that we mostly do custom from tanks to smaller systems. We do refurbishments. Um, a lot of people are dealing with your hobbyists where most of our clientele, they don't actually have Facebook or Instagram. They're sort of running businesses and companies. So they just want an interior designer or an architect to handle it, and that's where we step in. So we pretty much, 80% of our business is manufacturing custom jobs and corals around about 20. Um, we're sort of trying to facilitate that home builder to home supplier and sending sort of, yeah, just doing bigger tanks and really trying to push the boundaries of ease and minimalistic approach to tanks. <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up my video from Liquid Oasis. Don't be afraid to get onto their Facebook and shoot them a message for any questions you have about the equipment and things they develop and work on. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.